In 1867, Kansas State University held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations, and thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Welcome to the Fall 2018 Commencement Exercises of the College of Business Administration. I'm Kevin Gwinner, Dean of the College. I am pleased to introduce our vocalist, Ms. Deanna Richard, a graduating senior in marketing. Deanna will be singing our national anthem at the beginning of our ceremony today and will lead us in the alma mater at the end of the ceremony. Please remain standing as Deanna sings. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, who say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free? And the home of the brave. Thank you, Deanna. That was amazing. Audience and graduating seniors, please be seated. Before we proceed with our program, I would like to introduce the members of the platform party. Please hold your applause until the entire platform party has been introduced. Beginning at my far left, we have Dr. Brett Wilkinson, Head, Department of Accounting. Dr. Ansley Schwa, Head, Department of Finance. Dr. Eric Higgins, Associate Dean for Finance and Human Resources. Ms. Binta Janda, Assistant Dean for Student Services. Mr. Randall Stewie, Chairman of the Board and Chief Executive, Darling Ingredients Incorporated, a member of the class of 1984 and today's commencement speaker. Dr. Charles Tabor, Provost and Executive Vice President of Kansas State University. General Richard Myers, President of Kansas State University. Dr. Schwinn Shu, Associate Dean for Academic Programs. Ms. Sydney Haas, CBA Outstanding Graduating Senior. Ms. Abby Kramer, College of Business Student Speaker. Mr. David Lehman, Instructor in the Department of Marketing. Dr. Don Martin, Assistant Dean for Diversity. Dr. Esther Swilly, Head, Department of Marketing. Dr. Bill Turnley, Head, Department of Management, and Ms. Amy Button Renz, President and CEO, Kansas State University Alumni Association. Let me also take this opportunity to express our appreciation to our outstanding marshals today. And if we'd have those individuals stand when they're called, Dr. Donita Whitney Bramerlin. Dr. Janice Crow, Ms. Brianna Williams, and Ms. Ashley Thomas. We appreciate your willingness to serve. So I, I'm delighted that you're here today to join in this special event in the lives of our graduates, an event that marks the culmination of many years of hard work and sacrifice in the pursuit of knowledge, a meaningful career, and a promising future. Graduates, today is a wonderful day of celebration for you and your families. I'm privileged to have an opportunity to share this very special occasion with you. 
No one is happier or prouder of your educational accomplishments than those loved ones gathered here today. I want to take this moment to acknowledge the encouragement and support your families have provided for your success. Would the parents, spouses, and children of our graduates please stand and be recognized. Although we are here today to honor the accomplishments of the graduates, we would be remiss if we did not also recognize the faculty and staff who have worked diligently with our graduates in completing their studies. In honor of the faculty and professional staff who have served you with such dedication, I ask you, our graduates, to please stand and applaud their contributions to, your, to their success, to your success. Thank you. I'm pleased to have this opportunity to recognize the recipients of three prestigious college awards. And if these individuals would stand when they're called. Dr. Terry Mason, Assistant Professor of Accounting, and Dr. Doug Walker, Associate Professor of Marketing, are the Fall 2018 College of Business Outstanding Contribution in Research Award recipients. Dr. Ji Ho Yoon, Assistant Professor of Marketing is the recipient of the KS State Bank Teaching Excellence Award for 2018. And Mr. Michael Rain, Director of Information Services, is the 2018 recipient of the College of Business Professional Staff Excellence Award. Congratulations to you all. We are honored to have Kansas State University President Richard Myers and Provost and Executive Vice President Charles Taylor join us today to congratulate our graduates. Thank you for being here, President Myers and Provost Tabor. At this time, it is my great pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, Mr. Randall C. Stewie. Randy Stewie has served as Darling Ingredients Incorporated's Chairman and Chief Executive Officer since February of 2003. Darling Ingredients is America's leading provider of rendering, recycling, and recovery solutions in the nation's food industry. The 136-year-old recycler turns animal and food waste into usable products like paint, ink, bone china, and pet food. On his 1984 graduation from K-State, Randy went to work for Cargill, where he progressed through the ranks for 12 years. In 1995, he was appointed Executive Vice President at ConAgra Foods, and prior to his move to Darling, he was President of Gilroy Foods. When Randy assumed leadership of Darling Ingredients, it was a $250 million financially troubled renderer of animal and oil waste. Since then, He's led the transformation into a profitable $4.5 billion global giant with 215 factories on five continents. Randy holds a Bachelor's of Science in Finance from K-State's College of Business and undertook graduate studies at the University of Minnesota's Carlson School of Management. He serves on the K-State College of Business Advisory Council. In 2014, he was named as the recipient of the Business Leader of the Year Award from the College of Business and inducted into the college's Business Leader Hall of Fame. Randy is a great advocate for business education and continually demonstrates his support for our students and programs through his encouragement with the college. Please join me in welcoming Randy Stewie to the podium. Wow, give me a minute. I, I feel so lucky right now and I'm so nervous. So, no, let's start. Thank you and congratulations, graduates. It's an unbelievable day. Congratulations, parents. Congratulations, grandparents, aunts, uncles, family members, friends, everybody that came to see them. They did it. What a great day for all. And once again, thank you, Dean Gwinner. Thank you, President Myers, Provost Taylor, for all the outstanding staff and dignitaries at Kansas State for giving me the chance to come back 
and say thank you and address the fall 2018 graduation. Let me start, talk to you a little bit, and let me begin by saying how honored I am to have a chance to speak to you today. Ironically, as I was preparing my comments, I was provided links to old speeches, old friends that had given them, give me ideas of what to do today. And then I was informed that I had to write and submit my comments for review. There may be a few of you in here that have had the chance to see me speak and I do speak publicly about 10 to 15 times a year to various size audience ranging from Wall Street to global audiences. And never once have I prepared a written speech. So, Dean Gwenner, Melanie Horton, General Myers, I'm gonna apologize right now if I have a few Donald moments and go off script. I promise you it'll be tremendous. So, about eight months ago, I was asked by Dean Gwinner and Darren Russell while we were enjoying a nice hoppy IPA at a local Dallas pub, if I'd consider to come up here and speak to you. You can't say no. I said, of course, I'll come up. I'd love to. I'll be honored. Then I look over at Darren Russell and I asked him, well, how much is this going to cost me? <laughs> See, guys. See, graduates, nothing in life is free. No matter what any politician promises you, nothing is free. You know it, your parents know it. And I also have another secret to share with you today. You're about to become alumni, and guess what? You're fair game now. And yes, we fully expect you to continue to support one of the greatest academic institutions in the United States. All right. Back to the beer. So I bought Dean Gwinner a second beer. And after his second beer, he boldly asked me, he says, what are you going to tell him? And I said, well, I got this figured out. I said, you wouldn't know what to do if they gave you the job. He looked dazed, confused, and probably needed another beer. And then he said, what? I said, yeah, you wouldn't know what to do if they gave you the job. And he said, well, you know you're going to be talking to some really smart, outstanding graduates. And I said, no worries, they're going to get it. Hopefully you will. So see, for about 25 years since I left Kansas State, I've been doing turnaround CEO work. Never in my wildest dreams did I believe I would be given the opportunities that I've had a chance to experience. I was never the smartest in the room. I always had to work a little harder. I had to stay a little later. And when I entered the real world, guess what? I ran into colleagues informing me of where they went to school, how powerful their education was, the brand of where they went to school. I promise many of you, you'll endure the same as you go through your career. That didn't stop me. That motivated me. So at age 31, I started writing down little memories, little vignettes, and life experiences for my day-to-day -day business dealings with hopes of one day writing a book and sharing them with whoever would listen, whoever might be dumb enough to buy my book. Thus the title, Dean Gwinner, you wouldn't know what to do if they gave you the job, Tales of a Kansas State CEO. So today, it's, it's an honor to be here. I'm going to share just a couple little vignettes, a couple experiences because never did I believe, graduating from Kansas State, that I'd have the opportunity to impact so many lives. So now we got to start the history a little bit here. First off, let me be clear, my Kansas State experience did not start off very rosy. Academic records will show that I failed. Now, today we're going to go with, I transferred from the College of Engineering. During my sophomore year, I moved over. I went over and saw a guy named Dr. Verlin Richards and said, I'm really good with numbers, but I don't have the passion for what I'm doing today. I came over to CBA, graduated, as Dean said, with a degree in finance in four years. So I was one of the few to complete and move and do it. However, I came to Kansas State because of my brother. I followed in his footsteps. 
We're the first kids in our family to have the chance to go to school, the monetary opportunity to make it happen. My brother graduated, I don't know, summa or magna, you know the guys with all the fancy ribbons and stuff on today? I'm so proud of you. That was him in nuclear engineering. He gained his master's at Kansas State. He went on to the University of Washington to pursue his PhD. I was Bob's little brother. <laughs> expectations were very high for me. And there's no problem having high expectations. But Kansas State is a small enough school, and I couldn't hide. I wanted to do it on my own. I wanted to make a name for myself. And most importantly, I wanted to find something I love to do, to give it my best, something I wanted to learn. So now, since graduating, I've had the chance to go on, fix, rebuild, reband, rebrand, reinvent tired companies. Graduates, while your diploma buys you an entry ticket to the game of life, it simply doesn't prepare you for the situations you're ultimately going to encounter. After graduating in 1984, as Dean Gwinner said, I joined Cargill. It was an on-campus interview, and it was right after one of Ali Fatimi's horrifying finance exams, and it was dollar picture night at the now defunct Dark Horse Tavern. But I got up in the morning, went to the interview, and got a job offer. Cargill's an outstanding company with an incredible management training program. It possesses great values, great ethics, and I had a wonderful 12-year career. But to be honest, something was missing. I had lost my energy. I struggled getting up early, going to work. I couldn't wait for the weekends. I was bored. I needed a new challenge. So I made a real tough decision to depart in 1995 for ConAgra Foods. ConAgra was going to give me the chance I was dreaming of, run my own business, make all my own decisions, and only rely on corporate for treasury and legal support. It was a dream for me. What they didn't tell me was I was going to be given a real piece of junk to fix as my first chance. They wanted me to turn around a dehydrated onion and garlic company called Gilroy Foods. It was a 75-year-old company owned by McCormick, the spice company, been run into the ground. It was a California ag company with a broken heart, worn out assets, facing new global market challenges. The Chinese were dumping product in the market cheaper than we could actually grow the seed. The employees were tired and disenfranchised. The factories needed capital. The labor market was on fire. Guess what? This was the dot-com era where stock options were being given out like Halloween candy. Ultimately, we, and I want to always say the word we, successfully turned Gilroy around. We made it one of ConAgra's most profitable companies and ultimately bought out our number one competitor. We doubled the size as a team in four years. Today, Gilroy Foods is now part of the Singaporean-based company called Olam, and it remains the number one supplier of dehydrated vegetables in the USA and the world. So I began asking myself, did I possess a skill? What is it magic? What was it that allowed it to happen? Did I have a knack for turnarounds? Or was I just right place, right time, lucky? Time was going to tell. My next stop was Darling Ingredients in February of 2003, a very tired, near bankrupt, post restructure company. And as Kevin said, with about 250 million sales, 30 factories, and 600 wonderful employees. We actually had the honor of being Drexel, Mike Milliken's last junk bond. There are a few in the room that know who, what that is. I also owe much of our success to Michael Dell as he bought into my dream. 
and he supported us with a $35 million loan on December 23, 2003, so I could make payroll. Today, Darling stands atop the world of animal-based ingredient companies with nearly four and a half billion in sales, 10,000 employees, 225 facilities on five continents operating in 20 countries. So once again, I'm often asked, what did you do? How, did it, how does this stuff work out? How can I enjoy the success that you've had? And the first thing I always respond with, it's not I, it's we. A few years back, I got invited to teach at Dallas Baptist University. That's a very humbling thing to be asked when you're asked to go teach in front of kids. As a guest lecturer in a management class, and I got the same question, what is it that makes you so successful? And I paused and I looked around the room and I, I see all these kids and the smart kids and I'm thinking, they're gonna want some cliche that sounds so cool that they can grab onto, that I can wow them with. They want fancy buzzwords. And then I blurted out, passion. Guy looked at me again and says, passion? I said, yeah. See, passion means so many different things to so many people. He asked for more color. So today, as I talk to you for a few more minutes, I want to talk to you about the real origin of purple passion. Purple passion is the key word today. First, you must possess a passion for business or the industry. Whatever you choose when you leave here today, learn it, study it, listen to it, talk to it, talk to everyone, talk to the team, walk out on the manufacturing floor, ride a tractor, harvest a field. In my business, go pick up a dead animal. You got to assume nothing. You've got a diploma, but you've got nothing. I've always used the line, I think you should get a speeding ticket on the way home from work rather than on the way to work. And you'll think about that a little more. Second, have a passion for people. Have you ever met anybody that says, I'm gonna wake up and do a bad job today? No. I seriously doubt you have. No one wakes up and says, I'm gonna do a bad job today. The reality is, all people, and I say repeat, all people wanna do a, glo a good job. Globally, in my travels, I've learned that all families, all individuals, share very many common values. They want safe food to eat, nice clothes to wear, a safe place to live. And parents in the room today, they want a better life for their children. I honestly believe this and subscribe to it. The challenge for us as teachers, managers, executives, leaders, is to translate that mission into sound bites that our employees, our teams, our partners understand. It is so simple. See, academics prepares you for a life of learning. It doesn't provide you solutions, but it provides you a framework. Remember, people solve problems. And as leaders, you must engage people to help you solve problems. In today's world, I honestly struggle a bit. Everyone is now starting to believe that they can independently solve problems. And you know what they do it by and how they do it? Looking down. Every one of you know out here what I'm talking about. You're fidgeting out there right now. You're reaching down on that iPhone. You're wanting to pull it out, right? You spend countless hours with that thing in your hand, taking selfies, browsing social media sites, and unfortunately, believing whatever it is you read and taking it as fact. 
While as students, and now graduates, you have instantaneous access to information, something my generation never had and it wasn't available. However, breaking news here, at the end of the day, you lack the wisdom and experience to be effective. So a few years back, I attended my son's graduation and his commencement speech at Boston University. I listened to the commencement speaker by the name of Alan Questrom. And yes, Alan Questrom gave $50 million to Boston University, and he got his name on the building. So we now know that. For those that don't know Alan Questrom, Alan was a turnaround CEO. He turned around Neiman Marcus and many other companies. Alan boldly started his speech. And as you guys go home today and try to remember what I said, one point or two points, Alan started the speech and said, put your phone down, pull your head out of your app, and look up and see the world. See the world around you. See, it's not apps that are going to change the world. It's people that will change the world. So the final part of the passion is you need a passion for life, a willingness to see the world, experience everything you can, explore and learn. I remember a TV interview I saw with Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and Charlie Munger. I believe it, it was out in Palo Alto at the Stanford campus. And a young student got up, got given the mic, got the chance to ask the question they'd have always dreamed of, and she said, Mr. Buffett, if you could know one thing in life, what would it be? Well, Warren looked over at Charlie, and he started to laugh. And for those that know Warren, he can laugh boldly and loudly. And he said, Charlie, you go ahead and take this one. So Charlie looked at the student, looked over, kind of chuckled a little bit himself, and said very simply, I would want to know where I was going to die, so I damn sure make sure I never go there. <laughs> Think of that, little cliche today, but it stayed on my mind forever. Life is short, and there is just so much to experience. For me, it's my goal to visit every country in the world. And I will tell you today, I've been to approximately half of the world and I sit down and kind of smile and say, not bad for a kid from Salina, Kansas. So, so once again, let's wrap this up a little bit here. A passion for business, a passion for people, and a passion to experience all life has to offer. All three of these are critical, and you couple it with the foundation of learning that you've been given that was created by the wonderful professors at Kansas State, and now you know the origin and the recipe of purple passion, and you guys all thought it was a drink. So let me turn to my final insight for the day. We live in a world that is rapidly changing, exponentially advancing. Yes, I googled 35 years ago today so I could come up with a little bit of data, and yes, I took it as factually correct, so don't buzz me if this is wrong. But the unemployment rate was 10.9%. Interest rates were double digit. Inflation was 4.3%. The Dow Jones average was 1,200. The Vietnam War was barely over. And the only computer at the College of Business Administration was a Burroughs suitcase, which I'm pretty sure is now in the Smithsonian. Excel, Word, PowerPoint, weren't even on the drawing board. Mobile phones were three years away. Apple's Macintosh was just about to be released. The AIDS virus was discovered that year. And Ronald Reagan was president. To me, it seems like yesterday. To you, you're saying, holy cow, this guy's really old. So tomorrow, Many of you are entering the workforce at an unprecedented time. Your expectations are high, and you have every right to have high expectation. Our country is deeply divided. 
but I promise you, democracy is alive, but deep in need of leaders with real values. There are more opportunities globally than ever before. Employers are looking for work ethic and values, not millennial speak for what is it that the employer is going to do for me. Success is earned, not given. I truly believe these qualities are displayed by K-State graduates and K-State kids. You should be proud, and parents, you should take credit. In closing, you'll find my quote over in the New College of Business Administration building. Never forget who helped you along the way. These are the truest words I can share with you today. Remember where you came from, please. And as your success builds, Remember to give back to Kansas State. Nothing is free, no matter what Bernie Sanders says. Be purple passionate. Remember the other cliche spoken by one of the other famous football coaches other than Coach Snyder, a guy named Lou Holtz. Lou Holtz said, find something you love to do and do it your best. Find somewhere you love to live and ultimately find someone to share it with. Today, it's been an honor to have had the chance to stand in front of you. I'm very, very humbled. I am a Kansas State graduate. It's an outstanding institution with a great set of leaders. Remember, graduates, it can only sustain and improve its position with your help. So with that, I say thank you. God bless you and your families. And congratulations on being a graduate of Kansas State University. Randy, thank you for your powerful remarks, your eloquent challenge to our graduates, and please accept a small uh, token of our appreciation for your participation in today's ceremony. During today's ceremony, we are grateful to have Amy Button Rentz, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association, in attendance. She will say a few words on behalf of the Alumni Association. Thank you, Dean Gwinner. I am pleased to be part of your special day and offer congratulations on behalf of the K-State Alumni Association, representing over 280,000 graduates and friends who will be your lifelong K-State family. Today, as you receive your degree, we are excited to celebrate with you and your family we are also here to welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater as you begin this new chapter as a K-State graduate. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of the Wildcat community. I would like to share three of the core values that guide us in our mission to help keep you connected with K-State. The first value is link. The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, around the country, and internationally. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions this weekend as you sing the alma mater or take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. You may also have fond memories of doing the Wabash at a K-State sporting event or rubbing the nose of the bronze Wildcat sta statue at the Alumni Center for good luck on a test or to ensure a Wildcat victory. As the keepers of tradition, we also hope you will have a chance to visit the Alumni Center to experience all of the wonderful traditions kept there, including our newest addition, a stained glass mural designed by 2016 graduate Marcus Gilbert, which pays tribute to the beauty of our state and the K-State campus. The third core value is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride, connection, and family. When you see someone wearing purple, or a K-State class ring, or sporting a K-State license plate, you will feel that sense of family. In recognition of your graduation, the College of Business Administration and the Alumni Association are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the Alumni Association. We hope you will enjoy the membership benefits and continue to be an active member after your first year. 
K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. In fact, our membership ranks number four among the Power Five universities and number one in the Big 12 for the percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you receive your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. The Alumni Association is also pleased to present you today with an exclusively exclusive business card holder. As you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to keep us updated. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go Cats! Thank you, Amy. It is now my honor to present the College of Business Outstanding Graduating Senior in Business Award. This award is selected based on academic excellence and service to the College of Business Administration as an undergraduate. The Outstanding Graduating Senior in Business is chosen by a committee of the Dean's Student Advisory Council, which is comprised of student leaders elected to represent students. This semester, Ms. Sydney Haas has been selected as the Fall 2018 Outstanding Graduating Senior. Sydney is double majoring in Finance and Management. She is minoring in Economics and Leadership Studies. She also earned the Integrated Investment Management Certificate. While an undergraduate, Sydney has served as an excellent ambassador for the college and an outstanding student scholar. Sydney is the daughter of Tim and Kelly Haas. She is from Overland Park, Kansas, and a graduate of Blue Valley Southwest High School. After graduation, Sydney will be working for Step and Rothwell, a financial planning firm located in Overland Park, Kansas. While at K-State, Sydney has served in leadership roles with a number of student organizations and activities to include the president of the Investment Club, controller of the Student Finance Association, the accounts payable person for Pi Beta Phi, and has held several leadership roles since 2014 on the K-State Relay for Life Committee. Sydney was also a mentee in the college's executive mentor program and has served the college as a business ambassador. Sydney has made it a priority to make an impact in the college and throughout the campus during her undergraduate career. She has provided exceptional leadership and is an outstanding role model for her peers. Sydney, will you please join me at the podium? With multiple displays of involvement, dedication, and excellence in everything she does, I am proud to present Sydney Haas as the December 2018 College of Business Outstanding Senior. Congratulations, Sydney, on this well-deserved recognition. I'm now privileged to introduce today's student speaker, Ms. Abby Kramer. Abby is the daughter of Gary and Janelle Kramer. She is, a dual, she is a dual major in marketing and computer information systems. She is from Seneca, Kansas, and graduated from Nemaha Valley High School. Abby has been a student technician for the College of Business Information Technology Department for three years to include serving as the student technical lead. She has had two internships during her undergraduate career with ConocoPhillips and Coke Industries, and we are pleased to report that she will begin full-time employment with Coke Industries in Wichita as an information technology business systems analyst. During her time at K-State, Abby has been involved in a number of student activities to include her membership in the Society of Collegiate Leadership and Achievement, the K-State Association for Computing Machinery, the Boys and Girls Club of Manhattan STEM program, and as a K-State proud volunteer. Additionally, she is the recipient of multiple scholarships, including the prestigious K-State Leadership Scholarship, the Zabel Engineering Scholarship, and the Rathbone Scholarship. Abby, it is my honor to welcome you to the podium as the Fall 2018 Business Student Speaker. Thank you, Dean Glinner. I appreciate the opportunity to speak today. 
I would like to welcome our family and friends, members of the platform, university administrators, faculty, and staff. A big thank you to all of you for being here to help us celebrate. To my fellow graduating seniors, congratulations. We have reached an important milestone in our lives and have fulfilled a goal that many of us set years ago. I want to share a quotation by Luke the Evangelist that perfectly describes today's events. He once said, remember the past, plan for the future, but live for today. This is a perfect day for us to reflect on our time at Kansas State University, look with optimism to the future, and celebrate our present accomplishments. Let's begin by reflecting on the past. Several years ago, we came from across the state, country, and world to our new home of Manhattan, Kansas. Many of us came to campus as young freshmen, optimistic and a little nervous about the unknown adventures ahead. Our family, friends, and diverse backgrounds prepared us for the challenges that we were about to face. We tackled the first semester trials of finding our classrooms and learning how to study. We developed more friendships after arriving on campus, and we fostered relationships with students, faculty, staff, as well as professionals. All of these individuals shaped us into the people we are today. We are fortunate to have learned from award-winning faculty in a state-of-the-art business building. The past few years have brought class lectures, the sometimes dreaded group projects, and late-night study sessions. Aside from academics, many of us took advantage of volunteer opportunities and became involved in student organizations. We also made lifelong memories at K-State sporting events, hiking the cons of prairie, or spending time with friends in Aggieville. No matter how we spent our time, each of us has become a unique and valued member of the K-State family. As we walk across the graduation stage, our focus turns to the future. Each of us will disperse to small towns, large cities, and everywhere in between. We are armed with the knowledge and character that we have developed during our time here at K-State. Whether we become financial advisors, sales representatives, or auditors, our future lies in our own hands. During my internship last summer, I received some great advice that I would like to share with each of you. I was told to thirst for knowledge and always be up for a new challenge. As we begin our professional careers, we cannot be afraid to step outside of our comfort zones. Both our successes and failures will be determinate factors in our future. Some of our greatest failures will present the best learning opportunities. As lifelong learners, our quest for knowledge will extend far beyond the classrooms of Kansas State University. As we step into the next phase of life, I hope all of us spend some time reflecting on our dreams and planning to achieve them. But before we plan the future, let's take time to celebrate today. We will soon be graduates of Kansas State University and will join an elite group of alumni that includes CEOs, entrepreneurs, and business professionals. We have each earned this degree. Our countless hours of hard work have all paid off. Let's take time to celebrate this accomplishment before we have to change our focus to finals next week. But let's not think about that right now. Take a look around and enjoy this moment. Congratulations, class of 2018. We did it. I wish each of you the best in your future endeavors. Wherever your life may take you, I hope you remember the past, plan for the future, but live for today. Congratulations and go Cats. Thank you, Abby. We appreciate your enthusiasm and look forward to seeing what the future holds for you and your fellow graduates. Have a token of our appreciation. Okay, we are now ready to present the degree candidates from the College of Business Administration. 
Will the candidates for all bachelor's degrees from, college, from the College of Business Administration please rise and remain standing? <laughs> President Myers, on behalf of the faculty of Kansas State University, I am pleased to present to you the College of Business Administration Class of Fall 2018. Thank you, Dean Gwinner. By the authority of the people of the state of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I am pleased to confer upon you the graduating class of Fall 2018, the degree you have earned at Kansas State University. You may now move the tassel to the left side of your mortarboard Congratulations. Please be seated. Will the marshals please direct the graduates to stand and approach the stage for the awarding of their degrees? Also, will the department heads and representatives please move to the end of the ramp when their respective departments are called? Candidates for Accounting, Britton Stephen Becker, Seth Christian Boswell, Catherine Ann Bugner, cum laude, Jocelyn Camarillo, Andrew J. Dombeck. Ashley Marie Eberhardt, Drake Taylor Evans, Harley Christine Fleischner, summa cum laude, Travis Freeman, Madison Delenn Hammett, Benjamin Arthur Heath, summa cum laude, Grant Michael Herpick, Gretchen Ann Holthaus, summa cum laude, Joshua L. Carlin, Griffin Eli Keppel, magna cum laude, Emily Kern, Daniel Meyer Lawrence, cum laude. Andrew Timothy Martin. Thomas Andrew Nagel. Carly Ann Odell. Bailey Jean Otto. Alyssa Nicole Shuliens. Abby R. Steeter, summa cum laude. Matthew Ryan Sullivan. Shin Shin Yao. Zachary David Zagunas. Candidates for Entrepreneurship, Savannah Alexis Danielle Nicole Baggett, 
Sarah Catherine Bennett. Ty Wygant Brule. Cordell Lane Goddard. Clint James Graham. Brett Christopher Hammett. Dylan Joseph Reiser. Dusty Mayo. Madeline Ann Tarkey. Yun Tian. Aspen Nicole Weber. Joshua Alexander Weisbender. Kevin Luke Went. Candidates for Finance Dalal Abdurrahman E. Awani, Priscilla Aguero Ramirez. Turkey Badr Al Sahun <laughs> Ibrahim Mohammed Al Tamimi <laughs> Michael Scott Bailey <laughs> Kaylee Marie Bontrager <laughs> Lyndon Alexander Breckenridge Troy Isaac Burgett, Sum Cum Laude. Cade Michael Calvert. Devon Justice Casey Means. Reed Allen Cross. Michael Chase DeRusso. Ryan Thomas Dudenhofer. Titus William Ewart, summa cum laude. Christina Michelle Flowers. Blaze Robert Gammon, magna cum laude. Melissa Garcia. Sydney Aaron Haas, cum laude. Keenan Herbert George. Javier Herrera. Kaylee Meredith Keck. Logan Anna Linneman. Charles Joseph Lipford. Sean Matthias Manning. Austin David McGaw. Caleb Robert Meyer. Jared Francis Mulkey. Daniel Stephen O'Connor. James Lawrence Thomas Scott. Alex Jordan Stitt. Jennifer Josie Taylor. 
Zhou Yi Wang. Jordan Alexis Whitlow. Ziyan Yang. Chimong Zhang. Candidates for general business, Rebecca Ann Gillen. Caleb Robert Moser. Emily Pankow. Tanisha Lynn Selby. Candidates for Management, Lindsay Rosanna Albers. Marlon Ragandra Apadu. Kendra Dawn Bargman. Gino James Baruti. Jacob Phelan Carroll. Yunbo Chen. Lillian May Clark. Cassidy Renee Corrigan. Austin John Crowder. Jackson Robert Dorsch. Taylor Andrew Eckstein. Jonathan Patrick Godfrey. Alex Keith Gray. Kennedy Page Hamilton. Hans Michael Harker. Nicholas James Haverkamp. Brett Ellen Hooker. Nathaniel Michael Jarvis. Samantha Elaine Jones. Spencer William Kraus. McKenna Cheyenne Lee. Summer Ray Lightfoot, cum laude. Wang Jun Lin. Kayla Lene McDougall. Blake Jonathan Meyer. Diana Ortiz Munez. Lacey Jane Ostmeyer, cum laude. Kelsey Michelle Parmenter, cum laude. Robert Samuel Perry. Kasdan Cade Pierce Blanchard, magna cum laude. Corey Joseph Roth. Tania Sarabia. Caden Sievers. Samuel Stephen Shayun. Brock 
Donovan Steiner. Riley Bruce Stenson. Dylan Sion Stos. Corbin David Tannehill. Madeline Elise Unruh. Whitley Elise Vishneska. Mingza Tong. Song Shu Xiao. Yan Zhang. Candidates for Management Information Systems Adam Charles George. Maitri Prujaputri. Evan Michael Schmidtberger. John Austin Smith. Candidates for Marketing. Jade Emery Anderson. You, bye. Tyler Lee Benson. Sukena Boabas. Matthew Brian Bowman. Sarah Adeline Burris, magna cum laude. Trenton Alexander Bush. Stephen Andre Cargan. Mitchell David Copeland. Sophie Ann Crisp. Brianna Elizabeth Delaney. <laughs> Timothy Jacob Eccles. <laughs> Paul Timothy Fiden. <laughs> Catherine Mary Galligan. <laughs> Wade J.A. Gassman. Marquise Keegan Galladay. Zachary Tyler Gustafson. Allison Nicole Harris. Jessica Rose Hecker. Tad Thomas Hyatt. Ryan A. Horn. Caleb Dwayne Jorgensen. Addison Elizabeth Justice, magna cum laude. Noah Christopher Cafus. Abby Elizabeth Kramer, magna cum laude. Cody Allen LaGreca. Hun Jun Lee. Ming Ma. Austin Earl Mills. Kevin Davis Mokehi. Allison K. Nondorf. Deanna Marie Richard. 
Mary Grace Ruhlman. Kyle Edward Arcelona Stoop. Tucker Chase Sweely. Olivia Ray Taylor. Kelsey Marie Thorpe. Chu Lin Yang. Casey Nicole Zeller. Graduates, it has been the privilege of the college's administration, faculty, and staff to work with you over the past few years. Let us recognize the outstanding accomplishments of these graduates one more time. Would you please stand for the alma mater? A spot that I love full well. Tis not in forest nor yet in dell. Ever it holds me in magic spell. I think of the alma mater. KSU will carry the banner high. KSU, long, long may the colors fly. Loyal to thee, thy children will swell thy cry. Hail, 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 alma mater. We did it! Woo! Thank you, Deanna. Audience, please be seated. We would ask the audience to please remain seated until the platform party and the graduates have exited the Coliseum. You are welcome to meet in the concourse area for pictures and conversation. Graduates, please follow the marshals to the rear of the Coliseum, up the stairs, and into the concourse area. This concludes our ceremony. Congratulations, graduates.